Hey everyone, John Henry here from School of Trade, and today we're going to be taking a look at a short trade here on the NASDAQ. A little bit of a different market, but the rest of the markets are dead slow today, so uh, just kind of looking around for some better setups here. Uh, so we're short here at 40.71 quarter. Uh, stop is up here at 40.75. Our first target's going to be down here at 4068 quarter, taking two contracts off there. And then final target, we're going to go to 4065 quarter. And we'll take two contracts off there. I'm sorry, correction, that the first target is 4068 half, uh, just ahead of that 100% move there. So the reason that I'm kind of digging this, this short trade here is, first of all, it looks just gorgeous in terms of technical side of things, where, you know, overall the market is relatively sideways, but we have started forming this little bit of an intermediate channel coming through here. And we did have a little bit of a blow off from the sellers, but that blow off from the sellers, uh, meaning a little bit of extra strength, was followed up with a little bit of uh, profit taking with that extra strength down here, took a little extra profit, moved it above the highs of that channel, and then formed a little bit of kind of trapping action at the highs there and are now starting to fall right back down again. So I'm assuming that this trade is going to start ending up right back into the direction that it was originally going, uh, at least possibly one more time. So looking for a little bit more continuation of the downside here. That's why we're short at 71 quarter and just looking to take off our profit on the way down. So we're looking from our first target here uh, from 71 quarter down to 68 half. Need to adjust my drawing mode here. We're looking at a profit potential of two and three quarters point. Uh, and then we're looking at the final target down here at six points. Uh, so overall, we're looking at 2.75 times two plus another 12. We're looking at 17 and a half points. Now, essentially what that means is we're looking at about 350 bucks on the trade because we're short four contracts. Each tick's only worth five bucks in the NASDAQ. So it's a little bit of a cheaper market. Uh, so, you know, you could go short more contracts than four. Uh, you could probably go up to six if you wanted to, but four is right around perfect for this type of setup just because the overall risk parameters are a little bit higher. Um, it's not that it's a lower percent trade. It's just we need a little bit more risk to get our stop above the swing over here. Uh, so right now, just waiting for a little bit more strength from the sellers, and then uh, we can look for for a push down into our first target. So we'll be back in a little bit and uh, we'll see if they have what it takes to get it filled. All right, coming one tick away from our target here, 75 looking for 50s. Uh, we came one tick away already before, and now we're coming back down again. This was the kind of bar that we were looking for, big, big bearish candle uh, coming in, showing us some strength to the downside here. Just want to see a little bit of follow through to push us down one more time. Now, once we get that first target filled here at 68 half, then we'll be moving our stop to break even uh, for the remainder of the two. So let's adjust our stop now that we got that filled put our stop to break even, and now we're just kind of holding right now to see if we can get a little bit more of a push down uh, and possibly, you know, get that second target filled. We've already got locked in two, uh, two and three quarters points times two. Remember, we took two contracts off there. Uh, now we're just looking for the final target at six, uh, six points, that is, down at 65 quarter, and uh, we'll be able to lock this trade in with, uh, with a decent amount of profit. We've already got some profit locked in now that we got that first target filled. Now it's just a matter of holding on to it and seeing if they can really knock this thing a little bit lower here. Now we may be expecting expanding this channel a little bit more as well, where if we copy paste this line, uh, we may be dropping it a little bit lower where we're bouncing right now. Uh, so the fact that we're bouncing right here, that does tell us that there are a decent amount of people buying this level as if it was kind of a tiered channel here. Uh, now, if that is the case and we get a big, big bullish candle here, our stop is already at break even, but we might lock our stop in a little bit closer just in case this does reverse from here uh, back up to the upside. If we do continue to fall, uh, then we'll just look to lock in our final target down there at 65 and a quarter. So we'll be back in a little bit and uh, we'll see how we do. All right, we're one tick away from our target. We came one tick away already. Unfortunately, there's not really a good area that we can lock our stop in on this one. Um, you know, we've got, we're up five and a half points now, almost coming in on that six point mark. And because we came one tick away, I typically like to lock my stop in, but there's nothing really we can do with that. With this big spike candle here, uh, which is essentially everyone getting stopped out that bought that channel low, uh, there isn't really anywhere you can put your stop uh, technically that works out very well. So the, there couldn't lock in that much, uh, maybe a tick or so, but uh, regardless, either way, we got our target filled here. Uh, locking in those six points. Now, again, each tick on the NASDAQ is $5. Uh, we went short four contracts, 2.75. We took two off there, plus another 12, two off at six points. 
that gives us a total of $350 on the trade. So even though it was a really, uh, you know, a, a bigger trade, it's still only $350. And that's kind of the downfall of, uh, you know, the NASDAQ. $350 still isn't bad, but the same trade on something like the Russell or something else like that, if it's set up the same way, uh, would have been double the profit. So, uh, you know, it's kind of a give and take when it comes to these types of markets. The Dow and the NASDAQ are kind of in the same boat. Uh, either way, though, it's going to be a perfect trade, just a beautiful example of a nice little uh, kind of trap at the highs of a channel right down to the lows uh, for us to just profit the whole way down. Uh, 350 bucks in the bag. That's going to be the trade for today. If you have any questions about it, feel free to send an email to School of Trade. Don't forget to check out our trial at schooloftrade.com. And as always, we'll catch you next time.